Hello dear learners today we are going to talk about the MCQs from pharmaceutical chemistry from the chapter anti cancer drugs as we all know anti cancer drugs since they are toxic on the cancerous cells so they are also called as cytotoxic drugs cyto means cells and toxic they are toxic to cells but cancerous cells they are toxic so they are cytotoxic cytotoxic drugs as well as they are also called as anti neoplastic drugs since they are working on neoplasm so that is cancer causing tumor so it is known by the name anti cancer drugs that means which are working on cancer then cytotoxic drugs and anti neoplastic drugs we are going to discuss in part 1 few of the mcqs from anti cancer drug and part 2 we will cover few mcqs from anti cancer drugs so to start with first question first question says anti cancer drugs are also known as dash so just now we discussed there are three names so options are whether they are known as anti neoplastic drugs cytotoxic drugs both of them or none of them so it is very much clear uh, whatever the point we dis discussed just now that anti cancer drugs are also known as anti neoplastic drugs as well as cytotoxic drugs so the correct answer is it is both of them next question is abnormal cell growth with potential to invade or spread to other parts of the body occurs in the cells which are growing at abnormal rate abnormally also they have the capacity to invade as well as to spread to other parts of body so such Uh, such disease or such group of disease is known as whether it is known as diabetes whether it is known as cancer whether it is hypertension or none of them so if you will see all these are non communicable only but this cancer which we know very famously it is uh, abnormal cell growth so the correct answer is it is cancer it is not the case in diabetes or hypertension next question is the drugs which are used in treatment of malignant disease or neoplasm or cancer are known as dash whether they are known as cytotoxic drugs whether they are known as anti neoplastic drugs whether they are known as anti cancer drugs or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them because malignant disease that means malignant tumors are there so ma malignant tumors whatever the cells are there they will be killed or the growth of them will be inhibited so they are cytotoxic since they are working on the cancerous cells then or neoplasm so they are anti neoplastic they are working on neoplasm or cancer so they are anti cancer so the correct answer is all of them next question is anti cancer drugs are used when now here anti cancer drug condition when it is to be used the conditions are first it says it is to be used in combination with surgery and or radiotherapy when it whether it is to be used alone when surgery or radiotherapy won't work or both of them or all of them the correct answer is it is both of them because use of anti cancer drug depends on the type of cancer as we uh, all know that there are many types of cancers which you might have came across the terms like uh, there are uh, cancers uh, which are related to ovary then leukemia then lung cancer is there so blood cancer is there lymphoma is there so breast cancer is there so there are many types of cancers so depends on that type of cancer when it is to be used that means in for example if you will consider breast cancer in case of breast cancer it 
means generally it is to be used in combination with surgery and and or radiotherapy but in some type of cancer such as testicular cancer or hodgkin's lymphoma like it is the kind of blood cancer which starts with wbc like so it is called as uh, means lympho lymphoma so in this uh, cases uh, we generally use anti cancer drugs alone for the treatment of such type of cancers but in case of breast cancer we, whatever we discussed just now it is to be used in combination with surgery or radiotherapy so both the types both the way anti cancer drugs can be used so the correct answer is it is both of them next question is spread of cancer to other parts of body on the virtue of property dash that means uh, this cancerous cells are having some characteristics or some properties so this property of spreading to other parts of body is whether it is hyperplasia whether it is metastasis whether it is neostasis or none of them the correct answer is it is metastasis metastasis is nothing but it is the spread of cancer to the other parts of body how it spreads these tumors malignant tumors which are responsible for causing cancer means they are cancerous tumors only so malignant tumors can break and enter into the blood stream and they can form the secondary tumors which can have the capacity to spread so it is metastasis meta stasis next question is invasion capacity of cancerous cell is called dash whether invasion capacity is called hyperplasia whether it is called metastasis whether it is called neostasis or all of them so the correct answer is it is hyperplasia hyperplasia is nothing but invading capacity of the cancerous cell and spreading capacity is metastasis next question is which of these tumor is not the cancerous tumor whether benign tumor whether it is malignant tumor whether both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is benign tumor benign tumor is the simple tumor which is not an a not a cancerous tumor like malignant tumor it can be simply removed by surgery and it will not come back after the surgery along with that benign tumors also have the uh, means uh, once they are removed they will not return back along with that they will not spread also and they will not even invade also any other tissue like malignant tumor so it is not a threat means it is uh, simply you can remove it and it will it will be gone but in case of malignant tumors exactly reverse is the condition malignant tumor is actually a cancer which can be removed by surgery but regrowth of cancer cells can occur there are chances that even after removal uh, from surgery regrowth can occur and again as just now they have the capacity to invade as well as spread that means hyperplasia as well as metastasis and it can be a threat to life also that means it can be a dangerous situation to life malignant tumor so among these both tumors which is not a cancerous tumor it is benign tumor next question is regrowth of cancer cells may occur even after removal by surgery in case of which tumor so just now we discussed in case of malignant tumor even after the removal by the surgery regrowth can occur so it is the correct answer is it is malignant tumor next question is which of the given is a cancerous growth and can be a threat to life which among these whether it is benign tumor no it is the simplest tumor malignant tumor yes it is a cancerous tumor so it can be a threat to life it can be dangerous both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is malignant tumor which is having uh capacity to spread 
uh, to nearby uh, tissues or organs and because of which it can be dangerous or it can be a threat to life next question is dash tumor can break and enter into the blood stream and form the secondary tumor which tumor is uh, having capacity to break and enter in, uh, after entering into the blood stream it can form secondary tumors whether it is benign tumor whether it is malignant tumor whether both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is malignant tumor which can break and enter into the blood stream and it can form the secondary tumors next question is possible methods of cancer treatment are means cancer can be tre treated by which of the given methods the first method is whether by the therapies such as chemotherapy immunotherapy whether by surgery and radiation or by anti cancer drugs or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them as we discussed in second question that uh, anti cancer drugs can you can be used alone also they can be used along with surgery or radiation also and they can be used separately also so here uh, chemotherapy is nothing but anti cancer drug therapy only means uh, by use of various chemicals so it is anti cancer drug or chemotherapy is nothing but one and the same so only the name is different or oh, the differently i have mentioned over here so all these ways the cancer treatment is possible next question is antibiotics working on cancer treatment are obtained from dash species antibiotics which works on cancer they can be obtained from so antibiotic class if you will see the classification of anti cancer drugs various antibiotics which are anti cancerous are the antibiotics antibiotics are actinomycin d mitomycin c doxorubicin so all these antibiotics are obtained from whether streptomyces species streptococcus species staphylococcus species or nisteria species the correct answer is it is streptomyces species antibiotics such as actinomycin d mitomycin c doxorubicin is obtained from streptomyces species uh, now uh, if you will start with the first actinomyces actinomycin d it is obtained from streptomyces uh, streptomyces chrysomelas then uh, mitomycin c is obtained from streptomyces caspitos caspitosis so these are various species but they are from streptomyces only so streptomyces species se antibiotics are obtained which of these belongs to nitrogen mustard class so from classification if you will see classification of anti cancer drugs uh, nitrogen mustard class is included under the uh, first class that is alkylating agent the subclasses are nitrogen mustard aziridines which are also known as ethylenemines and alkyl sulfonates so nitrogen mustard class belonging drug is which one of these whether it is methotrexate azathioprine cyclophosphamide or 6 mercaptopurine the correct answer is it is cyclophosphamide methotrexate is folic acid antagonist then azathioprine is uh, anti metabolite only and 6 mercaptopurine is also anti metabolite but 6 mercaptopurine is purine antagonist and azathioprine is pyrimidine antagonist next uh, with this with this we finish with part 1 few of the mcqs from the chapter anti cancer drugs stay tuned for part 2 on the mcqs of anti cancer drugs thank you